first thing i want to tell you all that uh, i am very happy to announce to people of goa that election commission of india has allotted the symbol of ship boat to gsrp for this 2022 elections on the 9th of january so in this party on the 9th of january okay so that everybody should know that the symbol of gsrp is there to contest now i will go by chronological order what i want to tell the people see everyone will remember that on 14th of december october at azad maidan october 14th of october at azad maidan we announced that we will give our platform goa suraj party platform to revolutionary goans kitha their party was not getting registered we saw their plight and we offered our platform for them to contest because it was a big movement that was going on in goa a lot of innocent goans were there with them so we offered them and i don't want to say much because you all all know that is there in the public domain now what i am going to see say now is very important and i request the people of goa to listen to this very very carefully after the rg and gsrp tie up the next important thing was to get a common symbol to fight for the 2020 elections for the rg candidates that was necessary because we being a registered party but not recognized we need to ask every election for a common symbol so we need to do that so after the 14th on the 26th of october gsrp sends a uh, application to the election commission of india requesting for a common symbol and that is football we asked for only one symbol that was football and this was in consultation with the revolutionary goans core team that is manoj virish and all those guys because we had offered them a platform and they said we we would prefer football so we asked for football and only one symbol okay somewhere it takes time around 10 days 15 days it takes for the eci to process and to come back and allot because we have contested in the, in 2012 we have contested in 2017 and eci had allotted us a common symbol where we have uh, contested at the five eight different uh, seats in goa without any problem however on 16th of november i receive a letter from the eci saying that they need the exact number of constituencies and they want to know they want to know they want a special affidavit from me so immediately on 20th of november i replied to the election commission of india and i sent all the documents necessary which were received by them within 3 days on 23rd of november this is november 2021 we are in 22 now and i was in constant touch with the election commission of india officials asking them what is the status of my second application the affidavit and all what was sent they told me we have seen it it's absolutely fine and very soon you will be getting your symbol so i i was happy i informed this always we used to share the information with revolutionary goans manoj and his team but to my surprise to my surprise it got delayed the official letter did not come neither the election commission of india declared on their portal that the election symbol is of allotted to us and on 17th of december i receive a letter saying that your uh, application is held up and we need some more information this is 17th of december 
and you, you need to give us some more in, uh, information pertaining to 2000 when the party was registered up then. So I called up to the officials there and I asked, he said, please send this and we will give it to you. I said, you, you have already told me that everything is all right, but you raised the query now. After 20, 25 days, means it's a delay tactic that was going on. Anyway, on the 23rd of December, I replied to them whatever queries were there and I asked them, please send me the symbol as the code is coming very soon, 23rd of December. And on 23rd of December, the same day, they write to me saying, no, no, we cannot consider your application as we need some more information, something more they added and sent to me, to which I replied on the 24th, immediately. And on 24th, I get another letter asking for some more information. So this information coming and going and coming and going, it was never stopping. Now this is 24th of December, from October to December. So I called up Manoj, the RG president, Viresh, I said, let's meet. I have to tell you what is happening. And I don't want that uh, because my symbol is head, you, your candidate should be in a dilemma, you know. Because with the, without a symbol, they will go as independents. They will not get a, a common symbol for all. So on 20, so now listen very carefully. That was the part of ECI. Now the part of us, GSRP and RG comes in. On 27th of December, I meet the RG team at their RG office at Pato. I go from here, from Marga, I meet him. And I tell him, he is also asking, sir, your symbol is come. It is not coming. So I told him, see, I am suspecting that there is something that is going on which is not right. And there is some pressure to delay our symbol because we have given you the platform to contest on our party. So I said, you do one thing. You arrange for a Supreme Court lawyer there because most of, most of the lawyers there, they deal in election uh, uh, process and all that. I said, you immediately do it. Take the lawyer and go to the election commission and get try to get your party registered. That is the RG. So, one of his uh, uh, core members, he goes out and within around 10-15 minutes, he comes to me and he says, Sir, we got a lawyer, our friend from Pune, who is attending our case in uh, 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 Supreme Court. And he has uh, agreed to stay next day, that is 20th of uh, December, and he will go and attend to the election commission and try to see what is happening and try to push our registration. So I told him that's very good. You got somebody. I said, now the best thing is you fly your president or your general secretary to Delhi so that maybe if something has to be signed, you need your officials there, your office bearers there. So he calls up uh, some, one of his other guys and said, Paul Virish and uh, uh, book his ticket to Delhi tonight. That is 27 to be with the advocate on the 28th to go to the ECI. I was also very happy. I came by. 28th is gone. 29th is gone. 29th evening, he calls me up. 29th of December, he calls me up late at night. And he says, sir, I want to come. I said, what time? This is now 11.30. Don't come now. We want to talk something to you, very important to you. I said, please, it's late and you come the next morning. So he agreed. On the 30th of December, he comes to my, to my house in Naveli with his uh, other uh, office bearers, that is Viresh and uh, other guys. And he tells me, sir, my registration is done. RG party is registered. I said, very good, congratulations. And in the process, I asked him, when is it done? He said, sir, I don't know, but it is done 10 days back. I said, have you received a hard copy? 10 days back if it is done? He says, no, it is with some agent in Pune of his and they don't know about it. So this agent has told him and those 
lawyer who has gone to Supreme Court has confirmed from their ECI office that party is registered. 10 days. 10 days from 30th come 30th of December comes to 20th of December, right? Fine. I said, very good. I said, now you apply for a symbol because the symbol takes minimum 15 days. I said, now you apply for the symbol. He said, okay, we will do everything. 31st of December, one day later, 24 hours later, I was about to go for my midnight mass. He calls up and he tells me, sir, my symbol is given. I said, what? Within 24 hours, you get a symbol? And I said, what symbol did you get? He said, I got football. I was just going for mass, so I went for my mass and I did not say anything. And he said, sir, tomorrow I want to take a press conference and I want to tell the people of Goa that my RG party is registered and I got a symbol. I said, very well, you go ahead, but I am not coming. I need to think and tomorrow is a new year. I have to be with my family. Now the question comes. My mind started to work. Such things cannot happen. Your party registering 10 days back, I got it. It's fine. It can be registered. You may not know. Your agent is knowing, he said. But the Election Commission of India, the process is, the protocol is, the registration certificate only comes to the registered head office. Election Commission does not send it to anybody else. And there is a tracking system where the number, telephone number or mobile number which is given or registered with the ECI, they keep on sending you updates on the status of your application. And to my knowledge, their party president's number was registered there. So that's fine. I investigated because I found something very fishy in the symbol. 30th you tell me and 31st you get a symbol registered. So I found out through my sources that the party was not registered 10 days back but the party was registered on 30th of November. 30th of November. That is exactly one month earlier and which was not informed to us. And the symbol for them was allotted on the 24th of December. 24th of December, the symbol is allotted. And we are discussing in his office on the 27th of December, how to register his party and how to get his symbol. I cannot understand what was the, what was the need for, to hide all this information from us who have given the symbol, who have given our party platform to contest, you know, without any condition, without any reservation. Even the symbol what you had asked was applied by us, but through whatever means you got the symbol when my application was still pending with the ECI. So I cut off all my links with him. On 4th of January, I sent a complete set of reply sets to the Election Commission of India. And I sent a new application, this time asking for only say eight seats because I knew what was happening. I was getting all my information from my sources. And within 4th, they received it on 6th. And on 9th of January, they allowed me the symbol and everything is closed. Now the question arises, why did this information of registration and the symbol hidden from GSRP, why? What was the reason? I have another reason, two, uh, two months my symbol was delayed and delayed and delayed and when their party was registered and when their symbol was given only then my application was considered and I was given the symbol ship to contest. And I asked for only eight candidates because I was, uh, we had decided that there is no point in asking for 40. Because on 1st of January, he took a press conference and he announced that he has, his symbol is there, his, uh, his party is registered and we knew he would go. 
with that. I had a discussion with our Supreme Executive, which is the highest decision making body of our party. From whom I had taken the permission, I myself is a member of the Supreme Executive. I had taken the permission to offer them the platform. They were totally shattered. Shattered to core that we were backstabbed. We were told lies. What was the reason? We could not understand. And today, our Supreme Executive is pained with the behavior and attitude of the revolutionary Goans. Core committee and in particular of Manoj Parab, we feel that this is nothing but backstabbing of the very people that is us who has helped him. We had come to his rescue and we offered him a platform unconditionally without any monetary benefit, without even interfering in his process of uh, selecting candidates. We never interfered. So much of liberty was given to them. Therefore, now our Supreme Executive has decided and we have taken a decision, we have taken a resolution that the GSRP cannot and will not go with RG who has betrayed us, betrayed our trust and as such can be termed as treacherous thinking and not at all good for the democracy. Because in democracy you can't be a traitor, you can't be a treacherous, you can't lie to your own people who are helping you and the innocent people of Goa. So we detach from today any ties with them and we want to appeal to the people of Goa. Understand this. If he can do this pre-elections, we are actually very, very sad because the followers, the amount of followers that our revolutionary Goans has, they are innocent people. They believe in what he says. They believe that they are there for saving Goa and Goans. But yes, no, it is not from this. Today I can very safely say, and we GSRP, total executive, uh, supreme executive, is thinking on the same lines that people have to think now and decide that you want to go with liars, you want to go with backstabbers. How can these people even do any justice to Goa? It's very sad. And uh, one last thing, there are a lot of things which I need to, but I will not talk now. I will say it later on. We have now put up our team in Delhi to find out exactly why, what happened with our registration, why it took so much time, what was the delay, and we will, as and when we get our reports, we will come back and we will expose all those who are involved in this nexus. Manoj Parab and his team approached me wanting to see me after he said he has cut his meetings with him because he found them a little suspicious. Not little, very suspicious. And he was all the time conferring with me and other members of the party. Supreme Executive. They tried to call me. I, I refused to reply. And um, ultimately, he, uh, the whole troupe, his group came to my place unaware, just walked in and I did offer them to come inside. I was outside and we talked for 10 minutes there. Sir, we have come to see you because Inasio sir is not lifting his phone. As you see, Inasio was, is the president of the party executive, he is a president of the party and you need to see him. You can't see me because I am 
out. I'm the ex-president and ex-party uh, executive. So you cannot talk to me. You have to talk to Inas. But he's not lifting his phone. So we deliberated. I said, so whatever, they're giving me reasons. Uh, how these are. I said, don't tell me. Some or other, I will also call Inas and tell him to listen to you. They went. They uh, called me in the night at about 11 o'clock, said we are in the vicinity, we want to see you the next day. As I see, I am already retired and you cannot see me now. Please, you see Inasio, the president. Next day, they came back again as a group to my house and I was caught unaware, I was leaving the house. So I invited them inside and I, my opening statement to Manoj Parab was that, he says, Inasio feels that you have backstabbed him and the party, you have betrayed and he has lost all his trust. That's why he's not lifting up his phone. He doesn't want to talk to you anymore. So they started giving me blah, 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 you know, so, sir, I think this is every time telling us about Supreme Executive, this, that, and delay, you know, telling your parties, your candidates can be rejected, all those things. So I listened very carefully and I asked him, Manoj, I says, when did your party get registered? We know, I said, on 30th. But why did you not admit it when he went to see you on 27th of December? You should have said, Are, we didn't know, but we just got the information yesterday that it is registered in November. And this is December 27th. So why did you wait for such? So it was with our agent and lawyer and these, that, and we, we were not informed. And I said, see, I have registered GSR without going to Delhi, through courier. We have sent no one to Delhi at that time. Mr. K. F. Wilfred was the Under Secretary and I was on touch with him on phone and we have registered the party and he says Election Commission doesn't send the registration letter to anyone else but the headquarters which is listed on the application for registration. So, no, sir, uh, you know, in our case, uh, this was uh, there and all that. I said, okay, whatever it is, send me your registration, scan and send me a registration copy. And that was enough. And, and, and uh, when you applied for the symbol, you want to know. They went. After two days, I again asked him, Please respond to my request. I want your scanned copy of your registration and the copy of your application for symbol. Please report it. If GSRP and RG has to be at peace. Now these are my words, this is on my mobile. Up till today, there's no response on that. So, what the president has said is totally justified and is correct to the core. And we are, have taken back, I said, I had told him, you, you are a registered party now. Go ahead and field your candidates. You've got a symbol, the symbol which we had applied. Go ahead and do it. You don't need because there is not going to be any alliance with you at this moment because we don't have a symbol yet. When we have a symbol, we will see. But you go all out without GSR. So that's it. He has given the press conference and he says that GSRP was gifted to us. Florian Lobo said, go and contest. We have no objection in this press conference. You, you can refer to that press conference. 
So I responded to him on the, you know, WhatsApp saying that, Manoj, we had not gifted to you the party because this Goa Suraj party was going to contest. Everything would be RG wouldn't contest, Goa Suraj party would be in contest. No, not RG. We have given you the platform to contest. You knew about it. Second thing is, I am not EC to authorize you to go ahead. I am not the election commission. We are not the election commission. So, please don't give, uh, you know, wrong information to the public. And I am still waiting for your registration scan copy. No response. And that is all I have to say. I am going to go to the election. And I am going to go to the election. And I am going to go to the election. 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 आमच्या बरोबर आशिल्लो लोया मैदान वास्को मापसा सगळा जुजलो खरेकांड भाषणा केली ताका सगळा डेटा गोयंचो आवाज आम्ही सगळे संगट ऑल द ऍक्टिव्हिस्ट केम टुगेदर गेव हिम द डेटा टू स्पीक अपॉन तो उलयलो बरे उलयलो आणि कार्य मुकार गेले वी सो सम प्रॉमिस इन हिज एबिलिटीज मोस्ट ऑफ द गोवन्स आल्सो सेड लेट्स गो आफ्टर यूथ अँड सपोर्ट हिम after i resigned from goa suraj party but i was not a enemy i am a well wisher i am not a politician because of bharti janta party's bad policies i went and gave support even to congress but today everybody knows about it i don't have to speak but maka wallo dhoko baslo janna ye tache haji kurtuba manoja chi goa suraj party kaden janna ave aikali purave polele हांवे मंजुरी दिली की हांव येऊन तुमच्या प्रेस कॉन्फरन्साक म्हजे बी मनोगत व्यक्त करता मनोजाक हांव वळखता आम्ही जायते झुजा झुजली बरोबर बट जेन्ना सुरज रेव्होल्युशनरी पार्टी ताणे केली ऑर गोवा रेव्होल्युशनरी म्हणून तो गेलो ती वेंट अवे अँड डीड ओके वी बिलीव डेट यूथ फॉलोइंग इज देअर ऑल गोवन ओव्हरसीज ऑन द शेप इन अदर कंट्रीज was saying yes manoj because congress and bjp amcho bavart gelo tenche oilan bare asa and i was happy that goa suraj party gave him the platform with total liberty tani itle ye candidates declare kelle asa mare in don phases ani te disa to aso sarpat padlo he was prostrate thanking goa suraj party god and and all the supporters in front of thousands of people in azad maidan आणि ताणे त्या वेळात प्रेसाक सांगिल्ले तू किद करतलो तुझी पार्टी रजिस्टर झाली जर मजी पार्टी रजिस्टर झाल्यास आपण जी एस आर गोवा सुरज पार्टीचे आपण इलेक्शन लढतलो म्हणून ताजीच उतरा ती मला मजा कानार सादतो आता तुम्ही तुमचे आकायबसान दोन महिन्या पहिली वचून गेल्यास ते मेळटले इट इज नाव एवेलेबल टू एव्हरीबडी इन दिस इन ऑन इंटरनेट सो वाय डीड मनोज डू दिस why did he do this that means if he is employing agents he believes in that getting agents to do the work for goa ya boy phala agent ani goa vikle jala to mantala apan agent ak sangile ani aslo muni sami vidhan sabhe pao pak jay how how can this be these people be trusted now maka khup ata pachhatap jata ki asla mancha na ami vishwas dawarlo ani tane ghat kelo va manush बाबा तू इतलो घातकी किद्याक जाऊपाक ठरयला रे तू हे तू काय बी विटामिन एम पावले कोणाचे तरी काय आयु एजंट ऑफ बीजेपी यू हॅव टू कम क्लीन ऑन दिस तुम्ही हे स्पष्टपणे गोयकारांक पटवून दिवपास जाय तू पळ कॅन्डिडेट घालता आणि तू कसलो सीएम जातलो तो मला येऊक सुद्धा नका आय एम व्हेरी हर्ट अँड आय एम व्हेरी व्हेरी डिस्टर्ब डेट गोवा इज गोईंग थ्रू टर्म ऑइल आमचे गोय उजान पडला सध्या आणि ह्या उजान वो आरजीचो उजो नी हा तो उजो तो कोणाक बाजून खावपाचो मला खबर ना तो उजो उजो म्हणटालो तो गोवा फुटबॉल लोकांनी ते उदर काढिल्ले ते मनोजाचे नी ओ ते आरजी पळ नाचता तुम्ही फुटबॉल उजो म्हणता पळ 
ते तुमचे लक्षान मातशे क्लियर करात फुटबॉल क्लब ऑफ गोवा एफ सी क्लब ऑफ गोवा दोज फ्रेंड्स हॅड मेड डेट उजो फॉर गोवा फुटबॉल इट इज नॉट फॉर गोवा पॉलिटिकली ऑर इकॉनॉमिकली हातून तांचे मातचे पण लक्षण बरेपण गोयच्या खातीर ना हे मला सारखे क्लियर दिसता आय मे बी मिस्टेकन बट एज ऑफ नाव तांचे करतू ती सगळी आपण कागदपत्रिका आसा ती मनोजाच्यो फटी आणि चिकाना उघड्यार दौरली असा गोयकारानो तुम्ही तुमच्या प्रोसेसर काळजार हात दौरून पळया तुम्ही पैसे काढून धाडटा ते ताका किते चलोपाक धाडटा हे कसले धोरण एजंटा खावपाचे प्लीज बिवेअर माय डिअर गोवन्स आय विल नॉट सपोर्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ यूथ दे आर नॉट गुड असली भुरगी आशिल्ली परस नाशिल्ली बरी गोयच्या खातीर 